Hello there and welcome back. I'm Power Cheese. This is Let's Play 2020. And today I'm thinking we should build a little more on the village because it kind of had has gotten a bit left behind. And specifically I'm thinking we should build a forge. Um, so that forge will be a three part where the Toolsmith, the weaponsmith, and the armor will all be together. So I'm gonna build that over there behind the library. But first, let's kick off the intro and uh, let's get going. So yeah, I am gonna build that forge over there, but I intend to incorporate quite a bit of the nether bricks, because I think blackstone and basalt will be very, very nice. Now blackstone I have because I get that from bartering with the piglins. But basalt, I do not have. So what I intend to do is build a basalt generator. Sounds complicated? It's not. Uh, hopefully, that's the famous last words. You say it's not difficult and then just goes to crap everything and you can't complete it and whatever. So... Let's see if we can manage to build a basalt generator. I think... Yeah, somewhere around here would be good because then I also have the case 2. From the beacon effect there, so that, that's... That would be good. Now what do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Yeah, well that, that works. That works fine. So I have this little box ready with some stone bricks. I need one wood, one lava bucket, five blue eyes, some soul sand, a couple of hoppers. And if I want to, I could have put a double chest instead. But what I intend to do is that when I'm going to use this basalt generator, I will bring two empty shulker boxes and use that to collect the whole thing with. So, yeah. Uh, and the sun is setting, so let me just catch a nap and uh, we'll get going once the, it's a new day. Okay, so I had a little run in with some phantoms here because I hadn't slept for quite a while, so there's that. Oh, hi there. Bye there. Um, so yeah, this is a quite simple design. So let's not drag it out too much. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just gonna put those here first. That's just temporary. It's not gonna be there. I'm gonna do two lines of hoppers, like so. Very nice. That's why these were just temporary, because now what I need to do is just... Yeah, um, this is where I'll put the poker boxes when I come to use this little contraption. Let's put some stone along the side. Um, a bit like 
like this and like that and like so oh yeah like that then we get that we can put how am i thinking how am i thinking hmm oh yeah so i'm gonna have the lava up here which means this one gets filled in like that take the soul soil here put it down there put the plank over there and i'll do this well, that that that's creepy walking over the soul soil Oh yeah, I have soul speed and speed on my boots. That's one reason why it gets like that. So then we'll do this. Now I'm not quite sure. That might not work. I might need to put Yeah. Let's do this and let's do this. Did not mean to do that. There we go. Um hmm. Let me just go grab some um minecarts with hoppers. Uh, I'll be back. Okay. So here we are, I've placed down some rails here, I'm gonna see if I can manage to do this in a good way. Um, three first, only because that's all the space I had in my inventory. Now then, let's see here. Okay. Oh, look very nice it's look looks like they're gonna be able to do that just perfectly there we go and the sun is setting again gonna be a little bit noisy for a while but that's fine so let's get the redstone box out need of those let's get some of that I only need one let's just see if we can manage to yep that's where they need we can manage to put nope not like that. 
Okay, fine. Snälla. Things aren't going quite my way. I'll tell you that. Do this. There we go. Now the really difficult part is that I have to break the rails without those guys flying every which way. But I think I might be able to do that by getting some slabs. I don't know, but I think so. Get this. Let's get some of those. Make some slabs. And that should theoretically allow them to stay put. There we go. Do the same thing here. That worked. That's great. Great news. So the rails away. And see if we can manage to put one more row of these here without everything getting crazy. Maybe I should have done that before. Well, they're moving a little, but not too much. That's good. Like that. And I'm stuck in here, of course. Why not? That worked. Good. So let's put these here on that side. Let's put these on this side. And let's keep our fingers crossed. That looks like it worked. And they're all still noisy, but I don't care. There we go. I head down here. Let's gather the things up. Those can go back there. Okay. Okay. So there we go. 
Now they're in place. There's actually one missing over here, but I think uh, the one here is a bit over the limit. So I think that if I toss things on there, they will still disappear in there. Speaking of disappear. Disappear. Reapers are the worst. They and Endermen. And the men have this tendency of just destroying everything you hold dear. Anyway. So. 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 Yeah. Uh, let's put these in here. Let's put these away. Put that in my offhand. This away and that away. That away. Grab the other sl slabs. I don't know, slabs. Eh. Anyway. So, we'll build this up like, like so. Like so, put cover on it over here, and actually cover up this bit just to make sure nothing spawns in here that aren't supposed to spawn in there. Uh, grab the blue eyes. Now this, it's important. It has to be blue eyes. It cannot be packed eyes or just regular eyes. It has to be blue eyes. Because otherwise it will not work. There, and then we can put like that there. And now what I want is this little guy. This is a story about fire and ice. We'll put it right there, and it should generate basalt. Perfect. So we'll cover this up. Let's see. Yep. That worked. Because then I won't have to worry about falling into lava. Oops. And fall down anyway. And basically. Well, you'll be standing on your shulker boxes. So. Let me go grab some empty shulker boxes and we'll take a look at this. Okay, so it's been like, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe, something like that. And I have two full shulker boxes of basalt. And than some <laughs> so yeah even if it's not the most efficient it's definitely efficient enough let's oh wait i shouldn't have picked that up yet um because this little thing is going in there go And there. Voila. So I don't think I need two shulker boxes of that. So what I'll do is I'll put one into the sorting system. And I'll grab 
an empty poker box instead and go fill that oh yeah those things okay go fill that up with the uh, blackstone i should have quite a lot of that question is do i have it down here or is it one floor up up i think here Um, bum bum. Ah, that's the polished one. Here. Oh. I didn't bring that from, from my, my piglin bartering. Okay. Well, just run down to the nether to get a bit of that. I'll just pop down to the nether and uh, collect that and I'll be back. Okay, here we are. I have blackstone, I have basalt. Mm, let's see if we can do this thing. So the way I'm thinking is like a T-shape. So each of them have their own little cottage and then they have the forging area together in the middle. So... Let's just see if we can place out some boundaries. So from here, I think leave two. So I think we'll have one here. And that should be going over here, I think. So that's a cottage that will be Pretty much, yeah, there, I think. So that's one, and these two will also be the corner pillars of the other two. So, see, one, two, three, four, five, there. There we go. So that's pretty much the area I want. Let's clear this out a bit. And what I was thinking was to have basically basalt in, uh, in the main area here as floor. So see here how that looks we do this bring this out so what I was thinking is it has a very cobblestone like I think that texture will work very well in this kind of setting the forge and then where there's been a lot of people passing, like maybe here, people have been coming in. We lay it down, it looks a little bit more worn. I think that looks good. And I might even add, of course I don't have any space in my inventory right now. Let's just do this, I don't need that, I don't need this, I don't need that. Uh, I might even put like by the workstations, we put some polished basalt also sideways because that's even more kind of worn like that. So I, I think that'll be good. Um, so 
so yeah. yeah I think I want a door there that's pretty good because then I have well not exactly there I think I think there will be better door and a door and a door And then I can, you know, like add everywhere every once in a while. I don't want too many of them being the wrong way, so to speak, or the worn way. Maybe we even put that one like so. What do we think? Yeah, I like that. I actually do. I, I like that a lot. So, in the dead center here, I'm thinking a lava pit. But then they'll have their own little cottage with some work stations and whatever and whatnot. So, um, I just have to figure out what, what wood type I want to build the uh, other parts of. So, uh, let me just go take a peek in my basement see what i have to choose from and yeah i'll be back look at that i am satisfied and i like it i mean yeah it should have been nicer to have this more open but i just don't trust the villagers to stay out of the lava so that's why I have that there. Got a little bit of a chain and some lanterns. Means of course that I can remove this. I think I have them left inside of the homes also. So here is the toolsmith's house. Yep, look at that. The lantern, little table, a couple of chairs, a bed. And of course his workstation, and he's working on an axe at the moment. And we have the weaponsmith. Pretty much the same setup and the same layout, actually. So, tables and chair, uh, tables and chairs, chairs and table. Uh, lantern, more lantern, bed, and a workstation. And he's working on a gold sword. And then, of course, last one is the armorer who has surprise surprise a couple of chairs and a table lantern bed more lantern hanging from a chain and he's kind of working on a, a helmet here so yeah all we need now is for a couple of um, villagers to get over there and populate the place I'm sure that'll happen eventually there you go and this door is gone again you see the problem is this door keeps being removed by zombies, I presume. I think I put a new door in here like 50 times or something. Oh well, let's do it again, shall we? Bring this out. supposed to be an oak door really but I happen to have spruce at hand so there I have lit this place up 
as best I possibly can and still still they come and just destroy everything oh well thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video remember to leave it a like if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and share this video with friends and uh, i'll see you in the next one goodbye